Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Those who are new, welcome to my channel. In our last video, we have learned about the procedure of election. In that procedure of election, we learn about some points. Those are constituencies, voter list, notification, nomination of the candidate, secretary of nomination, withdrawal of a nomination paper, election. Election campaign. In all the functions we are the procedures we have learned in our previous class. In, in today's class, let us see some remaining procedures. Those are the polling day, counting of votes, political parties, national parties, regional parties. Those are all the procedures we have learned in today's class. Now let us begin with the polling day. Polling day is the day of voting or the day of election. Polling day means the day when election would be held or the polling day is a day of voting or the day of election. On the polling day, the voters go to the assigned polling booth to vote. On this day, on this day means on the day of election, the voters are go to the polling booth and they vote there. The polling booth is a place of voting and polling officers are appointed to manage that the polling booth. In the polling booth, the ballot paper are provided to the voters to cast their vote. In the polling booth, we see that the, some officials are there. They are managers. The activities are uh, activities of the polling booth, and those officers are provided the ballot paper to give the vote to the voters. The ballot paper contains the name of contestants and the election symbols are allotted to them. In that ballot paper, we see that the names of the candidates are written there and their symbols were also provided there. In case we see that uneducated person went to vote there. He did not know how to read and he did not understand what is there in that ballot paper. On that time, he should identify the symbol of their candidate. On the basis of those symbols, he should provide their vote to their own candidate. The election symbols are helped to the illiterate masses and also the other identifying candidates. Now let us see. Nowadays we see that all over the world are practicing on the, are the totally depends upon the electronics. In Our voting system is also upgraded. Electronic voting machine EVMs are replacing the ballot paper nowadays. The, the voter records their vote and though the EVM and ballot box or the EVM are sealed after the election and carried to the counting center. Those are all about the EVM. Now, the retiring office in the charge to conduct the election process on the designated and constituencies. He is appointed by the election commission and proceeding the officer and pulling officials are appointed to conduct the election in every designated booth. Those are all about the polling day. Now let us see counting of votes. The counting of votes is done at the counting center by the counting officials in the presence of candidates and their agents. Here we see that the counting of votes are done by officials in front of the candidate and their agents. The counting of votes has become easier and quick with the introduction of electronic voting machine. Before the introduction of electronic voting machine, we see that it must be very difficult to count the votes. After the invention of electronic voting machine, it is very easy to count the votes. Here we see that in under, under some special circumstances, the recounting is permitted in the case of any dispute and a candidate can approach us to court of law and a returning officer, a returning officer declare that the result at the end of the counting. In this area also we see that they would conduct the recounting. They should be appeased. They should take permission of the officers and they means the candidate should take permission of the officers. After that they may 
recounted in the EVM machine. Those are all about the counting. Now let us see political parties. The political parties are necessary in the democratic setup. In our India, we see that a democratic system is there. A democratic system means the government is for the people, by the people, of the people. It is called as a democratic. Democratic type of government is available here on that cause. The political parties are plays a more important role in the in our India. Political parties are the link between representative government and the peoples. And the political parties are act as a representatives in between the government and the peoples. They play a major role in formulating the policies for the social and the economic progress. We see that our elected representatives in the political parties, they are presented as the common people's problem in front of the government. The government would take any solutions related to those problems. This kind of things are going there. That's why we say the political parties are plays a more important role in between the common people and the government. Here we see that the political parties are plays a more important role uh, to formulating of the poli policies related to the social economic progress. The political parties became a training ground to develop a leadership qualities. In the political parties, we see that a good leaders are available there and they provided the good and they encourages the good leadership qualities among the leaders. So the political parties that command the majority in the lower house and Lok Sabha at the center and legislative assembly at the state level for the from the government. The party that formed the government it is called as a ruling party. The the party, the political party which are working in present time, it is called as a ruling party. The party that are command the second position, it is called as a opposition party. The party which are not working, those are called as a work, opposition party. The minor political parties of independent, it can support their that the ruling party is opposition on their own. Those are all about the political party. Now let us see national parties. There are many political parties in India. Those political parties are classified into the national political parties and the regional political parties. In our India, we see that different parties are there. Those are the national political parties and the regional political parties. In the national political parties, they have their own branch in the state of our nation and they have the respectable number of representatives in the parliament and they also state legislature. The election commission grant recognition to the national parties. Indian. For example, the Indian National Congress, Bharatiya Janta Party, Communist Party of India and some of the major national political parties of India, they establish their identities through their own party symbols. Those are all about the national political parties. Now let us the regional political parties. Regional political parties are also called as a state political parties. The political organizations securing a respectable number of the seats in the assembly and selection are recognized. Uh, as the political parties of regional parties, it may state that regional parties by virtues of those majority, they formed that the government like DMK, AIA, DMK, Tamil Nadu, Assam, Gana Parishad, it is related to Assam, Telugu Desham, Andhra Pradesh, Shiva Sena, Maharashtra, Janata Dal Secular. In Karnataka, we see that Janata Dal is a secular party in Karnataka. Samajwadi Party in Uttar Pradesh. 
and they are few may few major regional political parties like regional political parties have their own election symbols they have their own election symbols the regional parties may have their representative in the parliament regional parties plays an important role in forming the government when the major political parties fail to secure majority at the center or the state those are all about the regional political parties in today's class we have learned about some, some procedure of election in that we see the polling day counting of votes political parties after that we see national parties regional parties so those are all things we have learned in today's session if you have any queries regarding this comment below then thank you for watching this